It's time for News 2 at 5 with Stephen Clark, Dana Tyler, Mark Dannon with weather, and Warner Wolf on sports. Tonight on 2 for You, if you love diamonds, you'll be just wild about Harry. I'm Gail O'Neill with your private tour of the wonderful world of Harry Winston. That's coming up next. There's nothing like a dazzling diamond, and Harry Winston has become synonymous with the glitter and glamour of diamonds. In tonight's Two for You, our Gail O'Neill found out what it's like to be dripping in diamonds when she visited the Fifth Annual Jewelry Institution. When Harry Winston was 12 years old, he bought a green stone at a pawn shop for $25. That stone turned out to be a two-carat emerald worth $800. In that instant, America's premier jeweler was born. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Gora, talk to me, Harry Winston. Tell me all about it. Marilyn sang his praises. Yes. Oscar just wouldn't be the same without him. And after 50 years, he can still put fire in Liz's eyes. The name, Harry Winston. The game, diamonds. You're in Harry Winston. This is a place where most people dream of coming to and never, ever make it through the front door. But dreams really can come true. When you see a Winston piece, you see diamond. You never see metal, but there is platinum that secures every stone and every connection in the necklace that you wear. Anything starts at Harry Winston. It starts in the design room in the mind of our genius designer, Ambaja Shindy. This is Gail O'Neill. Hello, Shindy. Oh, no diamond in the rough will do for Harry Winston. It takes a steady hand and nerves of steel to cut it here. Did you ever make a mistake up here, Ruben? Try not to. It's all about service here, and um, we're used to catering to the most important families, wealthy families, business people, celebrity. There's something here that is relevant to every woman that loves jewelry. Well, I'm single, so I think an engagement ring is something that will be in my future one day, hopefully. Honey. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is as good as it gets, Gail. This is, the shape of this is called a cushion cut. Not only do I get a ring, it also doubles as a pillow. The white shirt in the line of it is screaming for a necklace. Screaming, she said. Who was I to argue? But something was still missing. This is the Winston look. So I was set. Or so I thought. Gail. Yes. <laughs> Cash or charge? Oh, um. What would you say is the value for all the jewelry I almost got to walk away with? Try nearly two million dollars. As for Gwyneth Paltrow, she got to walk away with her Oscar night jewels, a little gift from daddy. Not bad, huh? I'm Gail O'Neill, that's News 2. Besides the incredible jewelry, Harry Winston has another claim to fame. Winston is the only Fifth Avenue jeweler, jeweler with a workshop right on the premises.